How is it possible to address the issue of the world after 2025, as far as the water issue is concerned, connected with many other issues, I guess? So there are a few things that come to mind. First of all, the question implies that uh, at that time, things will have gained in complexity and difficulty. So we have to first attempt to resolve that complexity. Maybe the way to do that is to be able to understand water from its origin to its life cycle, where it is originated, where it is used, how it is used, how it is disposed, and so on and so forth. I think the world is making progress in that sense. We are understanding that the issue of water is primarily linked with what we call the nexus of food, water, and energy. Water is the primary resource to food uh, growing and manufacturing, and urbanization is the driver to where this water is going. Once we understand that water is primarily used in agriculture and that the produce of that goes to urban cities, we start to see what infrastructure should we have around that problem and what are the key areas that we need to be concerned with. I've uh, discussed in the panel just earlier that it is important that we learn how to measure, how to measure production, productivity, efficiency, and how we measure waste and disposal. So in that area, things are happening in large groups like ourselves and many others are trying to contribute with their technology and their science. The other part which I think is very important is we understand this nexus of food, water and energy. That we also put value to what the value is and that we look into how we account for the value of water this notion of the pricing of water or the value of water and also where are the resources, the subsidies, the, the, the actual capability of governments to make changes being directed to. So we are of course of the view that we should never use food for fuel, that food growing requires too much water to start with and we cannot be uh, trying to solve a problem by creating a bigger one. We also believe that it is important that governments and institutions apply their understanding, criteria and knowledge in being able to account for things appropriately so that subsidies are taking into account the impact that they have uh, onto the world. I would like to also close this by saying, and we have spoken about this just earlier, one of the most important elements that we need to raise is what leader will manage water issues in the future? Who are the people that are today going through studies, through universities, and what are the principles that these people will apply in their career, in their development, and so on? In there, I think, lays the most important element on how water issues will be resolved in the future.